Hello, I'm Kathy, the Arty Mummy, looking forward to another pastel tutorial today as we get into a quick and easy beginner pastel with a sunset over the water with some trees and rocks. Let's get into some materials. We have a black pastel, white, red, pale orange, yellow, darker orange, a dark olive green, and a medium sort of brown. They are all soft pastels. Oh, and let's not forget the uh, the purple violet there. Okay. We also have the trusty Arty Mummy baby wipes and paper towel and. My paper is Canson Neutral Tones 160 GSM A4 and this is what our finished painting will look like. Let's get started. First of all, we'll take our um we'll take our red pastel and establish a horizon line. Just going to go just below the halfway mark and just go back and forth until we get a nice straight line there. Then pick up the orange and go around the middle top and bottom of that line. Just go straight over the top of it and make a, a semi roundish area. Then over with the bright yellow. Just filling up some space on the canvas now on the canvas on the paper and um, making those lovely sunset colours. Then we get that purple and put a little bit of that sort of fading light um, purpley bluish sky getting up around the top and the edges. Not worrying too much about it just yet, just um, getting some colour down. Try not to put the purple over the yellow just yet. We don't want to muddy up these colours because they're going to be lovely and bright when we're finished. So now that we've done that, we're going to add a little bit more of the yellow. Oh, changed my mind. Brighter. A little bit more of the orange up here. So I think that'll blend a little bit more with the purple without going too muddy. Just get that lovely sunset colours happening in the sky and the water. Everything that you do on the top should reflect in the bottom. So we're just going to take that out just fairly gently touching on the can on the paper so that we don't um, don't get too much down at the moment. We don't want to fill in that tooth too much. Now with the paper towel I'm just wiping outwards from the centre and just turning it as I go so that I don't have too much pastel on the paper towel. So like I said, I don't want to muddy up any of the colours. I want to keep those ones in the middle nice and clear and bright. So just back and forward and wiping and sort of giving that a bit of a rub in so that we fill up the little white um, gaps in the paper. Then adding a little bit of red into the middle get that really bright brightness that we see on a sunset. Then around the outsides of that with the bright orange. Then the yellow. Don't worry too much about being fussy with it, just pop those colours in, allow them to go over each other so they blend a little bit. We just want to get a nice um, nice transition through there. If your colour builds up too much on your paper, just tap it off at the back. Don't blow it or you end up with pastel everywhere. So with the yellow, I'm just putting in the sun there. So a nice semicircle. And then brighten him up with a bit of white. Just go straight over the top of that yellow and they'll blend in together to make a a soft uh, yellowish white 
and then pull that white down as you see it coming and reflecting off the water so wider at the top and then a little bit narrow as you come down again nothing too fussy adding a little bit more of that sort of lighter orange onto that break up those strokes of the water a little bit adding some yellow in again we're just building layers and tapping off whenever you need to get rid of some of that dust off your paper so you're going to pick up the black now and establish some of the foreground rocks just laying it on its side and just pulling down at different angles gives um, those sort of nice bold shapes fairly easily and um, varying the pressure on that can make the, um, the shape sort of stand out and they'll create quite organically. I'm just going to go back into that sunset a little bit and make it a bit more defined on the horizon line with the red. Just soften that line a little bit with a touch of your fingers. Back up to the purple at the top. Like I said, I'm sort of just making this up as I go along, so there's quite often not a great deal of rhyme or reason to it. It's just what I feel um, we need to do next to get what I have in my head. Just soften that out again with my fingers. A bit of a wipe of, on the towel or keep your fingers reasonably clean. Now I just want to break up that water or create a bit of a, a line there in the um, in the an edge to the water beginning of a beach or some more rocks I'm not quite sure at the moment we'll see what happens it's one of the thing I love about this kind of painting just establishing that horizon line a little bit more with some purple now this might be going a little bit quick for you but you can always pause at any time and um, and catch up. Now I've picked up the medium brown and just putting a little bit of colour into those rocks. Thinking it's not quite dark yet so we've still got a bit of colour in things. I don't want it to be a total um, sort of black um, what's the word silhouette happening. I'd like to get just keep a little bit of colour in these foreground objects and I'm thinking a little sort of a pathway down to the beach and some rocks over to the right adding a little bit of purple in there because that makes interesting shade colours, shadow colours and it also helps tie together in with the um, with the top half of the painting make it balance a bit better and adding a little bit of the, the yellow orange to the top edge of the rocks to show some light on there for reflecting from the sun. Gives that a little bit of a clean after it's been on the black before you touch it onto your, your water or your sunset, otherwise you're going to transfer that, that black colour over and muddy it up. So we don't want that to happen, so always give it a little bit of a wipe and be, be careful of what you have. Um, picked up on your pastels before you touch them on a light area. Just brightening up that sun a little bit again with the white, making sure it's a nice round shape and brighten up that reflection on the water and bring some of that light again into the tops of the rocks. And highlighting that little pathway, pop a little bit of colour into it and some yellow and some brown. Back onto the rocks with more strokes of brown. more of the purple. Just keep picking up your colours and layering them on top of each other until you feel feel happy with what you've got. Always using a really light touch otherwise you'll, you'll fill up your tooth and your paper won't take any more colour. So what I'm trying to do here is just get some nice shapes in the rocks so it's good to make um, sort of squarey shapes and bold shadows uh, to signify rocks it gives them a real solidity rather than everything being sort of rounded and just adding some pressure in a few places there gives you more deeper shadows now putting a tree in and just starting off very thin and light 
and just figuring out where those branches are going to go if you feel like they're not um, not quite big enough you can add more in afterwards but it's hard to make them smaller if you've gone too big so just gradually building this tree up until until I'm happy with it with the shape of the branches then it's okay to add your sort of extra thickness to the trunk and, and get him nice and grounded in there don't have to be too fussy just um you know think of the, a tree that's had a bit of a rough life up there next to the ocean it's weathered storms and it's not going to be quite straight or perfect it'll be bent and twisted in all different ways so all the little shrubs down near it so add a couple of those in and just bringing some up on the other side as well to balance it out And a little one here down by the path. Now I'm not being fussy at all with these. Just some some black marks to signify the shapes and, and put those branches in. Then we're going to pick up that um, olivey green. Sort of a darkish colour. So shadowy kind of leaves. And just being really careful not to fill it in. I'm just touching down little little tiny patches of green over the top of them branches that I made. easy to overdo this bit so just a little bit at a time and then have a look at what you've got and you can always add more but at this stage it's quite hard to take them out if you put too much and then just go a little bit over each of the leaves and branches and just build it up until you're happy yep, and over to the one on the left and then I've got my yellow and I'm just adding a little bit of highlight onto some of those leaves the sun, sunlight still catching them up there not doing it on all of the leaves just a few of them catch this little fella down here that I missed little one in, in behind the rocks you can hardly see him but it's there and it adds a little bit more interest just a few little dashes of green around the place and going back with the the black and deepening some of those shadows and this rock here I don't feel like it's sort of got enough depth around here at the bottom so just adding in a few bits and making that tree a little bit more solid a little bit more definite Add a bit more balance to the page bring that rock down to, to show the edge of the pathway get those shapes and shadows in now back with the white I just want to brighten that sun up and tidy it up a little bit And there we have it, all done. Initials on the bottom corner. Find a white pastel that actually has a corner to write with. <sighs> and one very quick, easy pastel painting. It's one of the things I love about pastel, they're so um, instant gratification. You can really quickly get something, um, something quite pretty.